As we said, social distancing looks like it could be helping. While the hospitalization and death rates continue to grow, the rate at which they're growing shows a possible change in the trend. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell joins us live right now to explain where we go from here tonight. Matthew, what's the latest? Yeah, Mark and Aaron, state officials are given hope by this week's trends, but sadly, this does not mean that lives will not be lost. Rather, if we continue on this trend, it just means that hospitals won't be as overwhelmed. Tonight, 1,302 people are in the hospital because of the coronavirus. Over the last five days, the average has been 90 patients a day. Before that, it was 102. As morbid as it looks, these are the stats that are giving state officials hope. It gives our hospitals uh, more capacity. It gives them more time to plan. Lamont says while this is a step in the right direction, the social distancing must remain in place for the foreseeable future. This is no time for happy days or here again. We're not going to let that happen here. We're going to focus uh, like a laser beam on making sure as we move beyond this COVID crisis, we do it in a thoughtful, safe way. An example that the state still has a long way to go in wiping out the virus can be found in our nursing homes. 38% of our nursing homes across the state now do have uh, an infection, in many cases, more than one infection. In Milford, state officials confirmed more than 40 people have been infected at the Golden Hill Rehab. This puts urgency on the state to execute its plan to create nursing homes dedicated exclusively to coronavirus patients. It's been a week and still no finalized list. We'll be announcing the first three COVID-only nursing facilities uh, in the next day or so. While families with loved ones in nursing homes wait, we can tell you there's a step in the right direction for ventilators. The state secured an extra 400, bringing the statewide total to 1,400. Connecticut is estimated to need 4,000 when the virus peaks. It's still a state-by-state -state fight to get medical equipment, and the governor is letting the White House know it. It's a crazy process, and if the federal government stood up on this months ago, even weeks ago, we'd be in a very different position than we are now. Now, also new tonight, daycare. Many families are at home right now, but the essential workers, they're still going out. And tonight, there is daycare available for them. They're urged to call 211 to set something up. It's the latest live tonight. Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News.